The new Chief Minister of Naya Kashmir, Omar Abdullah, takes oath as the first Chief Minister of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha administered the oath of office and secretary for Omar and his ministers. Now, five ministers took oath along with Omar, four from the National Conference, one independent supporting the NC government. And uh, the Congress, though, has not been given any birth. The, no, in fact, they opted out. They were given one. We hear they decided not to take it. Surinder K R Chaudhary has been appointed as the new Deputy Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, representing the National Conference as a key figure from Jammu. He secured victory in the Naushera Assembly seat, defeating the BJP's Jammu and Kashmir President Ravinder Rayana. Members of the India Bloc, including Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Akhilesh Yadav. Supriya Sule, Kani Moe, D. Raja were all present there for this event to see Omar Abdullah and his ministers take oath. Take oath as the first chief minister of the Jammu and Kashmir after yeah, the abrogation of Article 3. I have, I have some strange distinctions. Uh, I was the last chief minister uh, to serve a full six year term. Uh, now I'll be the first chief minister of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, the last distinction, as in the one of serving six years, I'm quite happy about. Uh, being a chief minister of a union territory is a different matter altogether. Uh, it has its own challenges. But I hope uh, that uh, the status of a union territory is a temporary one. Uh, we uh, look forward uh, to working uh, in cooperation with Government of India uh, to resolve the people's problems. And uh, the best way to do that uh, would be to start by restoring statehood to Jammu and Kashmir. <laughs> کہ دس سال کے بعد یہاں پہ لوگوں کی حکومت ہوگی لوگوں کی بھی بہت سی ان کی بھی امیدیں بہت ہیں اللہ کرے کہ ہم ان کی امیدوں پر اتر سکیں کیونکہ یو ٹی جب تک ہے اور گورنر کے بعد لیفٹن گورنر جو تب یہ طاقت ہے وہ لوگوں کے مانی چاہیے وہ لوگوں کی حکومت پہ آنی چاہیے میں امید کرتا ہوں کہ سینٹرل گورنمنٹ جو ہے بہت جلدی اسٹیٹ ہوڈ ریسٹور کرے گی और पूरे जो महकमे हैं ताकत है वो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को मिलेगी अभी बहुत सी बातें जो है मार्केट में आ रही हैं लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कभी कभी थोड़ा बहुत चलता रहता है पॉलिटिक्स में ये कोई नई बात नहीं है होता रहता है लीडर्स वहाँ आज इकट्ठे हो रहे हैं सारे और सॉर्ट आउट हो जाएगा और कोई कंसंट्रेशन नहीं है देखिए उनको मुबारकबाद देने के लिए यहाँ आया हूँ हमारे को बड़ी खुशी हो गई हमारी अलायंस पार्टनर के नेता ने आज चीफ मिनिस्टर बना बहुत दिन के बाद डेमोक्रेसी यहाँ स्टैब्लिश हुई है और इस डेमोक्रेसी को जिंदा रखने के लिए और संविधान के तहत सरकार चलाने के लिए ये एक मौका मिला है हम जरूर इसको स्टेट हुड दिला के रहेंगे और एक लोगों ने एक स्टेबल सरकार चुनी है और बहुत मुश्किल दौर है जम्मू कश्मीर के लिए खासकर 2019 के बाद जम्मू कश्मीर के लोगों को बड़े जख्म लगे हैं और हम उम्मीद करते हैं जो सरकार बनी है वो सबसे पहले इन जख्मों का मरहम करेगी जो लोगों की मुश्किल हैं जो लोगों को तकलीफ हुई है 2019 पांच अगस्त के फैसले से उसके बारे में सबसे पहला रेजोल्यूशन पास करेगी की हम उस फैसले को कंडेम करते हैं जम्मू कश्मीर के लोग उस फैसले को नहीं मानते हैं اس کے ساتھ جو ہمارے بے روزگاری ڈرگ ایڈکشن بجلی اور باقی جو مسائل ہیں ان کا حل ڈھونڈے گی ہاں جائیں گے کیوں نہیں جائیں گے امید ہے جائیں گے کیونکہ چیف منسٹر تو بہرحال جموں کشمیر کے لیے ہے اور ہم ان کے لیے نیک تمنا ہی رکھتے ہیں اور ہم چاہیں گے کہ وہ کامیاب ہوں اور ہم جائیں گے انشاءاللہ جموں کے ساتھ نیشنل کانفرنس کی سرکاروں میں اور کانگریس کی سرکاروں میں بہت بھید واب ہوا ہے اگر 80 परसेंट कश्मीर में लगता था तो 20 परसेंट जम्मू खिते में लगता था उस चीज का ध्यान रखना चाहिए कश्मीरी पंडितों का विस्थापन एक बहुत बड़ा इनकी सरकार के दौरान हुआ था मंदिरों का टूटना अपने आप में अब सरकार ने उसको दोबारा उनको रिहेबिटेट करने की बात की है तो इनको ध्यान रखना चाहिए धर्म और जाति के आधार को छोड़ करके अगर सही तरीके से सरकार बनाने का काम करेंगे तो स्वाभाविक बात है केंद्र की तरफ से पूरी सपोर्ट रहेगी ऑल राइट लेट मी कट अक्रॉस टू आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट अशरफ वानी ज्वाइनिंग एज लाइव फ्रॉम श्रीनगर 
Ashraf, a very interesting day. We saw uh, the, the Union Territory first Chief Minister taking oath, Omar Abdullah, but it also ca came with its fair share of controversy, with the Congress saying that they wanted to stay out of the cabinet because statehood is not yet restored. There are some other speculations claiming that they asked for two cabinet berths and um, Omar Abdullah's NC refused, offered just one, and therefore they decided to stay out. Give us a roundup on what happened. Uh, was it a smooth affair, uh, the oath-taking ceremony, and the Congress's stance on staying outside? Actually, Nabila, the uh, India block has showed its strength and unity here at the oath ceremony itself and also the agenda of the new government has been already put in place, not only by the Chief Minister Umar Abdullah himself who said that it is the temporary union territory, he will be soon the Chief Minister of the full-fledged uh, state of Jammu and Kashmir and also same was repeated by the uh, Farooq Abdullah, the President of National Conference and even by the Congress President Kharge. And now it is clear that uh, the Congress did not want to be the part of this government because there are scheduled elections in the Jharkhand as well as in the Maharashtra to keep the uh, uh, politics of Jammu and Kashmir apart in the national politics, particularly in these two states where elections are to be, should, uh, to be conducted in the next few weeks. Congress has remained away. But there are already the posts as well as the space for Congress as and when they can come and join the government. That was also stated by the Chief Minister Omar Abdullah himself before taking oath as well as by the other Congress leaders. That is the one part of this oath ceremony. As far as the uh, formation of government is concerned, there was clearly indication given by Umar Abdullah himself that he is going to take all the sections of Jammu and Kashmir together with the government, uh, in his government. That is why they have given full space to the Jammu region, to the Chinab Valley, which is the uh, part of Jammu and Kashmir on the banks of Chinab, right. on the other side of Chinab, we can say, and also in the Kashmir Valley. He has chosen one minister from the South Kashmir, mm. Sakina Yatu, from the North Kashmir, Javedar, and also himself as a chief minister from the Central Kashmir. So clear indications given by the government and the state, new state government is, uh, has a scheduled meeting with the all cabinet secretaries at 3 p.m. today. Yeah. That means how seriously the Umar Abdullah is taking the state affairs from today now. All right, we're going to track that story. Thanks very much, Ashraf, for joining us. But a quick look into what really happened earlier today. Hours before Omar's oath-taking ceremony, political tensions rose in the valley, sparking rumors of a possible Congress National Conference split in Jammu and Kashmir. Omar Abdullah stated, though, that he's keeping the doors open for the Congress to join his cabinet if and when. Congress MLA has decided not to attend the ceremony. However, the Congress's top brass were all present. As per sources, this decision follows the National Conference rejection of Congress's demand for two ministerial berths, uh, while offered only one to them, which the Congress decided to opt out of. The term set by the NC has prompted Congress now to rethink its stance, it appears. Clearly, the local leadership not very happy. The Grand Old Party is now considering providing outside support to Omar's government, as they've decided not to be part of the cabinet.